So what would you say would be an obscene amount of money for a wedding? $25,000, $100,000, What about $7 million? Well, that actually happened to one of our clients. And so why do I tell you that? First of all, I'm Spencer Tenney. I'm CEO of The Tenney Group. We are a M&A advisory firm that's dedicated to transportation and logistics. Quick story for you. So a client of ours a while back, he, he reaches out to me. And he says, hey, Spencer, uh, I've been meaning to talk to you. I've uh, been approached by a buyer that's interested in my, in my business. And, and I think uh, I've kind of been sitting on this for a bit, but I think I probably need to kind of lean in here and do something because I, it seems like it might be a good opportunity. I said, great. Tell me about it. It turns out that th there had been an offer. Um, and as I evaluated in the context of all the other trucking deals that we were working on at the time, it was an extremely aggressive offer. This guy's name's John. I said, John, this is, looks fantastic. So where are you at right now? He said, well, I'm, you know, like I said, I've been sitting on it. I said, well, how long, John? He said, six months. I said, six months, John, what, what in the world? Why? And he said, well, you know, I just had so much going on. We had DOT audit. Uh, probably the biggest thing was my daughter was getting married. And uh, it was a big to-do on the beach. And I got way more involved than I wanted to. It's a huge distraction. But now I'm ready to lean in and see if we can do this. I said, John, like, get him on the phone now. Hang up with me and get him on the phone. And so ultimately, he did... Um, John calls me back a couple weeks later, and I'm anxious to try to help if I can. I said, what happened? He says, well, you know, he's still interested, but he has changed his offer quite a bit. He has reduced it by $7 million. And I said, well, why? And it turns out, well, the reason why he was so aggressive with that offer is because they had a very specific problem that at the time, the buyer felt that John's business would be a, a highly effective, cost-effective solution, depending on speed. And John didn't provide that. And so they went and did another deal and solved the problem. So now that the pain was no longer there, they didn't feel the same way about John's business from a value standpoint. So, so why do I share that story? Is because when it comes to thinking about exiting and timing and trying to maximize your proceeds from your sale from this industry, you can do all the right things in terms of you know, getting your financial house in order. You can reduce dependence on, on the ownership to, to de-risk the company. But if you're not prepared to act when it's inconvenient, there's a huge likelihood that you're going to forfeit tremendous value from your company. And so uh, it, this is a humorous way to tell the story, but this happens all the time. So like I said, You've built something special. The best way to capitalize on it is to expect to, for your exit to be a little bit more inconvenient than you'd like. And when you do that, I promise you, you're gonna leave with more money in your pockets.